Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is John, and today we're going to be doing uh, sort of a 3D text pop tutorial. We'll be creating uh, text that sort of looks something like this. This is going to be a full walkthrough, so if you're a more advanced Illustrator user, you can skip to this point in the video and see a quick recap of the tutorial rather than watching the whole thing. But if you're new to Illustrator and want to see the whole process, it would be awesome if you'd watch the whole thing. As always, if you enjoy videos like this, it would be awesome if you would hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel for more content. All right, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, and one of the most important things, is picking a good color palette. One of my favorite tools in selecting and generating color palettes and rapidly iterating on them is called Coolers. Uh, it's coolers.co is the website. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's spelled C-O-O-L-O-R-S dot C-O. And then from here, all you gotta do is hit start the generator. What you can do to quickly shift through a bunch of random color palettes is just hit the space bar. But say you find a color that you really like, you can go down to the little lock icon. And once you hit lock, it'll save that. And when you hit space bar the next time, that color will remain on the screen. So say I really like this color uh, arrow. What I'll do is hit the lock button and continue to hit the space bar until I get the other colors, whatever I want. So I really like that orange Pantone and the Chinese yellow, maybe even this charcoal. These are just examples. Um, then shift through till we find another one that we like. This Rosso Corsa looks pretty good. Then what we'll do is hit export. So we'll export it as an image. This will export a PNG file for you. We'll just name this one, say, test. Um, you can pick your color space. I'm just going to do hex because that's the preset. And we'll hit export, which will bring it to your downloads. And then from there, you can move it to your desktop or wherever you want to store it. Then what we'll do next is open up an Illustrator file. Doesn't really matter what size, just whatever project you're working on. So for this one, we'll just do 1920 by 1080. Hit create. And then we'll zoom out and drag in our test palette. And from there, we will create some text. So for this, I guess I'll just type my name or something. So from there, what we'll do is head over to the text properties. I'm just gonna do Helvetica for this example. This works a lot better if you use a nice blocky text. Uh, you can do it with other ones, but I've always found blocky text to kind of be the best. A general rule with Helvetica is if you tighten it up a little bit, it looks a lot better as well. Just general rules of type. So what we'll do from there is take our eyedropper tool, I as a shortcut, and select whatever color we want in the front. So from there, we'll duplicate that. We'll take whatever color we want for the back and drag it on top. So once you have your two text layers, you're going to want to position the rear one behind the front one, obviously. And from there, what we'll do is we will duplicate the front layer. So it's important to duplicate this layer directly on top of itself. So to do that, we'll do Command C, which will copy the layer for us. And to paste it directly in front, what we'll need to do is hit Command Shift V, which will paste it directly in front of the older layer of text. Once you have your text copied and pasted, we're gonna open up our Layers tab in Illustrator, and we will turn off the front layer. So now that you have your top layer turned off, you're going to want to take your middle layer and turn that to the same color as the background. So to do that, what we'll do is select the text and take our eyedropper tool and make sure it's the same color. So from here, what we'll do is we will take our Blend tool, W is a shortcut for that, and what we'll do is select both layers of text. So when you select those two, you'll notice that it kind of creates a step in between them. Uh, to modify that step and make it more smooth, what we'll do is double click on the blend tool, which will open up the blend options panel and switch it from smooth color to specified steps. The amount of steps you take is going to depend on your design size. I've always found that 50 steps is a pretty good rule of thumb. It usually makes it pretty smooth, but if you want to have even like a step pattern like it's shown here, that's also kind of a look. Um, it really just kind of depends on what you want, but if you want it to be super smooth, 50 is usually a pretty good number. Again, depends on the size of your file. So what we'll do is now that we have those two blended together, we will take our front layer and turn it back on. And from there you can kind of see it creates a 3D looking text. This is one of my favorite text tricks and it's super easy to create a lot of iterations like I'm doing right here. All right guys, I hope this video helped you out. If you enjoyed it, it would be awesome if you'd leave a like below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in content like this. All right, thanks again for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.